Welcome to our demonstration on how to configure vSphere Virtual Machine Component Protection. Virtual Machine Component Protection, or VMCP, is a part of vSphere High Availability. And since HA is a cluster level setting, we select a cluster from the Resources pane on the left, right click on it, and click on Settings. Then select vSphere HA and click on Edit. The first step is choosing to protect against storage connectivity loss as this enables VMCP. Then, expand failure conditions and VM response for specific settings. We scroll down and see the table that displays information on how HA is configured to respond to different events. You'll notice that the table is updated automatically as we make changes to the settings. Here we see the settings specifically for virtual machine component protection. The first step is to set a response for data stores with permanent device loss, or PDL. Notice that we have three different options. Disable the default, which means no actions will be taken. Issue events, which will publish issue information on the event monitoring area of vSphere Web Client. And power off and restart VMs, which will power off PDL impacted VMs and restart them on healthy hosts. For Response for Data Store with All Paths Down, or APD, we have a couple of new options. Power Off and Restart VMs, Conservative and Aggressive. If Conservative is selected, VMCP will ensure that a host with a connection to the VM's data store is available before restarting it. If Aggressive is selected, VMCP will restart the VM whether or not a healthy host has been found. Aggressive may speed the response, but there is a risk associated with it. For this demo, we select Aggressive. Next, we have the option of selecting the delay time for VM failover. This is how long we want to wait before HA takes action in an APD situation. Lastly, we select the response for APD recovery after an APD timeout. This is where the APD situation resolves itself prior to the VM being failed over. Here, we select to reset VMs to ensure they are available and functional if an APD occurs. This completes our demonstration of configuring vSphere Virtual Machine Component Protection, or VMCP. Thank you.